Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nis and today we're gonna take a look at the Oscar by Leaf and Buff Zoo. And originally I thought it was kind of an inside joke of the mothers calling it a Oscar. Maybe because some of the mothers had a fish named Oscar or something like that. So I have to Google it. It is a species of fish. So it was just me not knowing stuff once again but here it is and i will mention um i just need to find out right they come in a lot of color variations um this picture here you see here it's stolen for a youtube video called top 12 amazing oscar fish variants video um i'm not sure why there's videos in the title but it's by Hattie Aquarium and I will link it in the description. So if you want to go and see that and see more about the Oscars, you can certainly do so. Uh, however, the coloration here below me, I feel like it's the coloration he went for. He didn't make, or they didn't make all of the coloration, sadly, but the one they made were beautiful. It doesn't say on Nexus if it was a port or if it was a custom built. Uh, I kind of feel like it's a port because they have ported a lot. Uh, port meaning it comes from another game that they uh, reconstructs to make it fit into this game. They've done a lot of those with fishes, so therefore it would have uh, made sense this is also one of them however i'm no uh this week i made a video on the silver mooney and that was a customized job from the scratch so i'm not really sure here i just want to mention that um but let's let's just get into it guys and here it is um <laughs> yeah Again, it, it's a fish. I know some of you love fish, some of you hate fish, some of you think it's nice to stay out there. I'm caring at, for the way fish looks. I don't care that much for fish. I don't find that fish have a lot of interesting facts. Some of them have like bio Um, a fish that uh, organically are able to shine uh, sorry not shine glow in the dark that's amazing uh, and some fish have some weird facts about them but overall fish isn't like my most beloved animal but they make sense to have in panetsu for a centerpiece or for so as filler in a bigger habitat for a big animal um but again Maybe you feel something differently. Maybe you want to make a fully aquatic park. I'm not, I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, anyway, uh, data deficient uh, and population in the wild unknown as they are with a lot of fish. They are from South America, more specifically Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay and Venezuela uh, live in aquatic biomes of course uh, in tropical and temperate areas uh, one of them only need one square meter of land and one of water one square meter that's 3.3 feet times 3.3 feet so that's something 9.9 .9 feet or some that's not that's not right don't <laughs> go by that, that i'm not sure what it is um they live from minus 20 to 42 degrees celsius i'm not sure if that's because they both go by the border call uh, temperature and the land temperature maybe but i don't think there's anywhere the water is 42 degrees celsius i don't know i, I don't know but it seems to be very warm for water um great to fence above 4.9 five feet that's a meter and 60 i think uh group sizes of to a hundred and that's 50 males and 50 females uh, aggression level equals to dominance P 
importantly amorous, confidence, and guess should not into the habitat. They are about a feet long, a feet being around 30 centimeters, uh, and live for around 10 years, weigh three pounds, being one and a half kilo. So very small. Not very small, but it's a smaller fish. Uh, reach age of maturity at age 10, and they only live for around 10 years. That's sad. That must be a typo either there or there. Uh, can we produce until they die? I would sure hope so. Um, we'll give between two and seven a year and be pregnant for three months and they should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. I, I would, if this were true, I wouldn't call that easy. They have a lot of interspecies enrichments here with the both of the caimans from the game, the giant otter, jaguar, platypus, and capybara, um, which I think they went for animals where they would be good backstage animals, like swim in the background. Um, some of them are from South America, but like the platypus isn't. So that's that's a little funny thingy. Uh, we have some enrichment. And that's the only uh, water enrichment is this one that is clearly underwater. We of course have for food enrichments also the blood pumpkin restrain feeder and the frozen fish. Um, then we have some uh, normal enrichment that can do underwater be, uh, in water. The three balls, not the pumpkin ball, but the other three balls and the rubber doggy. And then we have the sprinkler, water jet. A blood scent marker and the uh, mud bath that yeah it it just it just doesn't yeah uh, but as you can see they go on land which is a good thing because they need to go on land to give birth sorry i just thought they were different coloration i think i only have the one coloration um I got ten of them, so I feel like that's a fair amount. But let's see here. It have a got a lot of good things, and a few things I I just mentioned. Not bad things, but a few things I mentioned. For instance, down here, I can't figure out if this part right here is on purpose, and the same with that up there. It is possible that it's on purpose, but I just can't figure out if it is. We also have a very clearly triangle here, like very clear with straight lines, which just doesn't happen that often in nature. But besides that, it is beautiful. We can see all of the um, scales. Uh, we can see the uh, breathing part. I no, they don't breathe there, but you know what I mean. The girls, they're called. Uh, we have the very, very weird eye, which is to be expected. And the mouth part also seems through good. What I like is that we combine different textures. Oh, yeah. So the red part here is clearly a matte uh, red. But then we have these shine and it's more like shiny spots it's not shine like when the uh, light hits it's spotted where it hits it's not like you can see here we also have that here looking at it here it looks like more someone just splattered white on it uh, but when we move you can see here it looks very realistic it's much more prominent in the darker areas, but you can see here it also appears in the uh, red area again here. Now you can see it's matte and now it's shiny, which actually get that wet feeling very much. One thing I feel like I saw... No, that was just me. Um, I just thought I saw the fin not sticking to the fish, but 
it doesn't seem like it. it no, it's stick on. It's perfectly fine. But again, it's a fish. It does the fishy thing. You can see it move. Um, it has though. I will mention it has the right bendy area. Some of the fish had issues. I think it's because of where the tail on the. We don't have any fish from Frontier to use a fish rig, so I think a lot of them are made on Cayman Alligator or others or something like that. Um, and then try to make the movement fit with the fish. So for one, some of them, they have the bent part. is placed very weird. Here, it's been the right place. And as you can see, it don't all only bent like this it's sorry like this it bent a little like not that much but a little more like a flowing bend that isn't like this but a little like that also uh oh one thing if i can mention just one thing uh, you can see a line going down here you need to really look for it but you can see it and here you can see that line. I think it's that line that made it appear like it wasn't stuck before, but it is. Um, I'm not sure where that line comes from, though. Um, the weird thing here is that they will go up and brace for air, and they will go on land. If you make a fully aquatic area, and I guess just see from this angle, you build something that... Uh, does that they can guess can't see that area that's a backstage area then it would work perfectly or uh, i did that in future life asia if you see my aquarium built there where it seems like a aquarium from the guest side but from above you can clearly see it isn't um that's the best you can do however uh, they have a good side size for a just floating around fish you can see here compared to uh, the roundy things um it's a little bigger than that so depending on what you're gonna put in there they will be a little big in a other habitat maybe uh, asian small cloth other then it would be unclear which one you actually are supposed to look at and which one is background but put it in with a caiman or a um just thinking the giant other is also way bigger. It could also, now this isn't African, but it could also be the hippo. Uh, then it would be clear that it's the hippo you're supposed to look at. Uh, I do have some babies in here. Oh, not what I was going to. There, there. We have four babies. Um, and they are hard to find because they, where did you go there? Oh, very, very, very small. And you can see we can't really get a close-up because it will disappear. Um, I think I'm gonna... Like... If I can... Wait, oh! Find a... It's the first 2D fun bungalow zero I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do like this. Gonna do like this, and I'm gonna try if I can. Wait, there. I'm trying to like get it right in there. You can see here, it fits right inside of it, so it's very very small. Um, which is very cute, but it's also, if we can get it to feed, maybe. Like, over here. Uh, the fish is coming up here. Fits very well with the adult, but I feel like they may not do so good with the babies. You see, yeah, they are hard to find. Um... Yeah, you can pinpoint it, but it's really hard to do. Um, but if I can get a baby over here, can we do? 
Yeah. Is he here to baby? Is basically the same size. If not, it's clearly shorter. But I think the size is pretty much the same. So that will look a little weird. But that's about that. Anyway, guys, we're going to end it here today. This was the Oscar. And it was by Bafsu and Lee, which are these two mothers that have done a lot of fishies together. So uh, yeah, we're gonna end it here guys. And you know the rule, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Other in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>